It's time for Super Duper Science Stuff. Yeah! I'm Keiko the Tardigrade, and in this episode, we're focusing on astronomy. Astronomy is the study of everything in the universe that is outside of the Earth's atmosphere. And to help understand astronomy a little better, here's a quick cartoon called How to Name a Planet or When Space Was a Giant Bowl Floating Over Our Heads. Early in their history, humans noticed that the sun and the moon moved in regular cycles across the sky. They also observed that this movement affected things on Earth in powerful ways. The position of the sun seemed to make the seasons change from summer, to fall, to winter, to spring. Humans who lived near the sea saw how the moon affected the rising and falling of the ocean tides. It didn't take very long for them to come to believe that things this powerful must be gods. Humans had also observed that while the sun and moon were always traveling, the stars seemed to be fixed in place like a giant bowl-shaped picture floating over their heads. Many used it like a map by inventing the first tool of astronomy, star pictures or constellations. Across all cultures and civilizations, humans imagined images of familiar things formed by the position of the stars. Constellations made it possible for navigators to look into the night sky, find an important star image, and have a good idea of where they were and what direction they were heading. Once humans had a grasp of the position of where the stars in the sky were, they noticed an unusual and very important thing. They were sun stars that didn't follow the rules and stay in their place. Out of the hundreds of stars they could see, there were five that actually wandered across the sky. These five wanderers moved in and out of the constellations, all at very different speeds. Humans everywhere concluded that since the only other objects that moved like that were gods, namely the sun and the moon, then these wanderers must be gods also. Different cultures gave these wandering stars different names, but it was the names given by the ancient Greeks and Romans that seem to stick and are generally used today. The Greek word for wanderer is planete, so these became known as planets. And the Romans gave the planets names based on how they behaved. The fastest moving planet they chose to name after the swift-footed messenger of the gods, Mercury. The brightest, shiniest one, they honored with the name of the goddess of love and beauty, Venus. The planet that shone in the warlike color of red, they said must be Mars, their god of war. One planet seemed to move much slower than the other three, so they believed it to be the father of the gods, Jupiter. And the fifth one moved even slower, so they named him after the grandfather of the gods, Saturn. These seven celestial gods became a big part of human culture. The Babylonians saw the number seven as lucky and created a week of seven days, naming each after one of the gods. It didn't take long for humans to decide that if the sun and moon were powerful enough to affect things on Earth, then the other five gods must be able to also. Before long, an entire way of seeing the world grew out of this. It's called astrology. Now, astronomy and astrology are two very different ideas. Astronomy is a science that studies everything outside of the Earth's atmosphere in a scientific way. But astrology is a belief system that holds that the position of the planets among the stars affects human lives in a supernatural way. Even though astronomy and astrology are two very different things, there is an important link. Without astrology, the belief system, there might never have been astronomy, the science. Astrology inspired humans to study the stars, planets, and other stuff in outer space with great care and energy. It led them to develop better and better methods and tools to do so. As ideas changed about what was real and what wasn't, much of what was learned for the sake of astrology became important to the science of astronomy. This episode of Super Duper Science Stuff, yeah! 
Remember to sign up for the Super Science Activity and Reading Challenge hosted by the Henry County Library System. You'll have fun with great science activities while earning points, badges, and even winning prizes. Go to henrylibraries.org or visit any of our five branches to sign up. Super Duper Science Stuff is a production of the Henry County Library System, and I'm your host, Tycho the Tardigrade. Stay super, yeah!